What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to enable sleep, turn off display, or keep display on on your Chromebook or Chrome base. Now, many of these devices ship with sleep enabled, which helps to conserve power. However, if you're a heavy power user like myself, you may walk away from your device just to return moments later to find the display is turned off and you have to log back in, which becomes an inconvenience. Now this tutorial works for both Chromebooks and Chrome bases with Chromebooks having a few more options. That being said, I'll be demonstrating this tutorial on the Google Pixelbook Go, a Chromebook, but I've also performed this on the HP rotatable 21.5 inch Chrome base. Now this video is featured on the Chromebook Chrome base playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Now you can find the Google Pixelbook Go and related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are on my Google Pixelbook Go and we're on the home screen and we're going to look for the clock in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to click on that. Now we're going to look for a gear icon. That's going to be our settings and we're going to click on that. Now this opens a new page and you can see on the left hand side we have the side panel of options and we're going to look for device and we're going to click on that. Now this refreshes the page and you can see that we have this center list of options and within this list we're going to look for power and we're going to click on that. Now this opens up a new page with power management options. Now if we're on a Chromebook like the Google Pixel Book Go, you can see at the top here we're going to have our battery percentage and charging status. Underneath this, we're going to have what our device does when idle. And then underneath this, we're going to have the option to sleep when cover is closed. Now, the only option I have on my HP Chrome base is what the device does when idle. So we're going to go to the while idle category. And you can see our options for a Chromebook include while charging or while on battery. And either of these options when clicked on will present a drop down menu with three options. So we have sleep turn off display and keep display on. Now, whether you choose sleep or turn off display, this setting takes about five minutes to take effect. And within those five minutes, the display will slowly darken until it becomes completely black. Now, when your device is locked, this setting takes about one minute to become fully enabled. And again, within that one minute, the display progressively darkens until it becomes fully black. In both situations, simply move the mouse or tap a key on the keyboard and the display will brighten again. And then our last option is keep display on, which is self-explanatory. If you want to keep your display on, you don't want it to darken. You don't want to have to possibly log back in after you wake up your device or turn the screen back on. That's what you're going to want to pick. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on if you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah. <laughs>